Hello everyone, welcome again and today I am going to show you demo about the hostel management project in Spring Boot and it's a new project and it's a major project. So uh, before uh, start the demo, let's uh, check the technology that we are using inside the project. So as I said, it's a boot project, so it's using Spring Boot for the controller side. From the front end side, it's using JSP, JPA with HTML, CSS and Bootstrap and JavaScript things. and uh, it's following the MVC architecture and uh, it's using Maven tool to manage the dependencies. So it's a Maven project. And uh, now uh, let's uh, to deploy the application. It's using Tomcat server and to manage the backend, it's using uh, MySQL with Hibernate. So as a framework, it's using Hibernate and it's MySQL database. And we are using uh, as a GUI tool a MySQL workbench to view the database you know i have here we have a hostel management boot uh, database which have a different tables alertman application hostel room user visitors and whatever so uh now let's start the demo okay uh, uh the things like if you are getting this project from code one and if you, if you are taking this remote support so our team will help you uh, to run the project and in this stage you will get the project at your machine so we'll set up complete application at your machine we'll uh, do the database configuration as well now what next step you need to follow here to run the application at your side so just follow me uh, to uh, run the project let's say our team has done the configuration now you will get the project in this state and uh, then I just restarted my server here uh, because we'll relaunch the application and so what you need to do the first step you need to open your Eclipse uh, or STS tool and uh, you can click on this file under the um, SRC main Java uh, you will get the hostel management package under this this is the root file or you can say runner has hostel management application Java. just right click on this go to run as click on spring boot app when you do this it will run the application automatically here and once it will be executed successfully the application deployed over the server it will show the port number here if you can see here tomcat started on 8080 now what you need to do you just go to your browser and enter here localhost and the port number that you want after this you will get this url you need to enter hostel management slash login so it will automatically when you enter this url and enter the hit button um, hit the enter button then the application will load automatically also will share this url into the readme file as well so you will get one uh, readme file with projects so you can directly copy that uh, you are that uh, url from that text file now let's move to the project and see how the functionalities are working in this so this is your login page so you can say home page when i click on the home page this will be my welcome page so here we have uh, our team section about us contact us and the footer section is there so this is the completely design for it and another page is there about us contact us and uh, here if you are going to enter some data this will be stored into the database and show to the admin users okay here we have two options sign in and sign up so if you are a student or going to register into the like uh, if you are a student are you going to register into the application as a student or a user so you can directly fill up this form and click to the save button automatically uh, you will be registered here next option we have a sign in and after registration when you refresh this user table right click here and you will see the new entry here but make sure if you are going to view the table just open your mysql workbench go to hostel management boot approach this uh, um, uh, database and under this go to table and click on the user table right click on it and uh, check it the view database uh, database table is there Okay, so when you view the table, just right click on the tab uh, table and select the first option, select rows limit 1000. Here you will see the new entry. And if you notice, uh, we have a role ID 
so role id 1 role id 2 role id 3 so there are a multiple kind of users into the application that can be have a multiple roles like admin can perform uh, some operations and the student can perform some operation warden is there warden can uh, perform some operations so according to the user we are uh, allowing access or you can say we are uh, defining the modules so the first role id will be uh, for the admin always and two will be for the students or the users and user of the application and three will be for the modern so now uh, first i am going to log in as an admin and see what admin can perform there and then we'll go to uh, students and wardens and other things so uh, as you can see in my user table we have admin one two three and the password is admin at the rate one two three I just move to the my application and enter admin one two three, and uh, I enter the password as an admin at the rate one two three. So when I enter the password and hit the sign in button, I can see option here add modern. So what admin can do? Admin can add a new modern into the application. So just hit fill up this form, click to the save button. The data will be uh, filled up and display there. Let's see. Uh, I enter the data and say user edit successfully when I click on the one vendor uh, Warden list I can see the data newly entered data here. So I'm using some autofill uh, uh, Plugins so you can uh, like so it's filling out auto Like it's filling data automatically for me. So for you you need to enter it manually over there Okay now we have a search option here so every list page will contain all the crude operations like you can perform the edit operation you can perform the delete operation you can perform the search name like search by first name option is there search by email is there so if i hit the search by email and click on the search button it will display here now also you can edit it so in case you want to edit the record you can edit the record next module is a hostel add hostel module so if is there any new hostel into the um, uh, in market or you, where you are going to install your application so we have an option to add hostel <coughs> so as i you enter the dummy data and hostel edit successfully you can see this newly added uh, hostel is there also you can perform the same operation uh, like uh, searching deleting and edit operation here for the hostel list under the add room section like if you added a new hostel like this that this hostel we just added and uh, i'm going to add a new room there so i can add a new room available room or so now you can see in this hostel we have a uh, one room this is room number is 101 another detail same crude operation you can perform here uh, room list is done now allowed warden so let's say uh, for a specific hostel i want to allow a uh, warden so let's say i i select the hostel name and i select the warden warden's name so i can select the warden so by this this warden is already alerted means this warden that we are trying to allow it's already alerted so validation is there so if you need if you want uh, you can only add a warden with a hostel which are or who is free like who, who doesn't occupied by any other hostel okay so the warden edit successfully now check a lot uh, so so you can see these are the alerted wardens that are uh, listed for the with uh, some hostel so as they are also you can perform id delete operation here as well other option we have a my profile change password and okay now let's log in as a, another user let's say login is a warden and see what a warden can do so warden is going to enter his username password to so log to log in into the application and after logged in successfully warden can check the hostel list warden can check the room list warden can add a new visitor let's say some visitor will come and do some inquiry about the hostel and um, so what I can enter the data here and that list will be display here so this list will be display here with uh, like uh, also warden doesn't have an option to edit this visitor list so I need to delete this so warden can only view, view the list he can perform the search operation now let's say some student will come and uh, 
uh, apply for the like ap ap apply for the admission into the hostel so he can uh, fill the application form from the hostel from the user section and that form will display here now here we'll check the allotments about the students okay now let's log in as an student and fill an application form so i just you can see the role id 2 always will be for the student so i'm going to use uh, role id 2 user and this time i'm going to enter the password and here we have an option hostel list like a user or the student can see the hostel available hostel list with his name type contact number fees and all the details you can check under the room list you can check the available rooms and the application so now if i select some hostel let's say in this hostel i need to um, do like uh, i i want a room as a user so i just enter like say mca uh, i just need to select the hostel name qualification address and description i hit the save button this application is added successfully now allotments is for the other users only so now Borden will check this application and approve our project. So if you want this project, you can contact us over the WhatsApp, over the uh, mail or directly you can ping us over the Skype as well. So we will share the contact details and also in, to the description box, you will get the uh, detail about the project and price and all. And in case you want remote support, so we have remote support as well. We are providing the training as well. So development training. So if you want to learn, if you want to join our team, you can join it. Thank you.